So now we should be ready for our next step. I'm going to click OK. Both of the uh, hash sets are ready to go. And I'm switching back to our uh, data sources and highlighting our laptop image right here. Let's scroll down to the next step in our uh, objectives. And uh, now we can uh, start ingest modules. So let's uh, go to right click and uh, run ingest modules. And again, just switch back to um, hash lookup. And you can see that both known and notable hash sets already are present here. Um, we can just control their inclusion or not inclusion by these check marks. And of course, we're going to keep both because this is why we are added them. So let's uh, now uh, find to uh, mm, click finish. And uh, you will be able to observe that uh, uh, the analysis of the ingest modules become visible, of course, on the status line of our autopsy case configuration. And of course, this will show us some progress as we uh, move along. Um, and uh, you can see that we can use the ingest box uh, or in, ingest inbox as an indicator of when known bad hash hits were found. So um, step by step, little by little, uh, my tree is uh, populated with results. And uh, under results, of course, under hash hits, uh, this is the, uh, the hash hits uh, for the forensic node that is already getting uh, started populated uh, uh, by the ingest modules. But I am far from being done with them. It's only indicating 8%. So it's uh, a good idea for me to just probably pause my recording and let uh, the process to finish. So I'll just to wait for uh, for the analysis of ingest modules to finish at this stage. I'm now over 15%. And the next question right here is asking me uh, how many total hits are found under hash hash, uh, hash sets hits. Uh, and of course, uh, I do have uh, a Renzik Renzim ca uh, uh, case right here listed. And so far, it was able to find and alert me to uh, these uh, six uh, uh, hits. So the answer here is six. Now, how would I collect um, uh, these uh, file names uh, of the hash hits? Of course, uh, we can probably uh, right here and just go to properties to, uh, you know, to view uh, individual files. And you can see that the source file name is right here. So we can uh, just copy it from here. So let's uh, start with rn.jpg, right? So we have rn.jpg and the second uh, file we observe here on the list of hits is this uh, F file right here. So it's either through properties or you can just uh, highlight it here and go to file metadata and it'll give you the full path, whatever the location is. And of course, uh, it's possible to also copy and paste from this view, file metadata, while you're highlighting it right here. So here it is. Okay, so it's uh, the file name is without uh, file extension. Uh, so that's, but that's the name of the file that contains this hit. One of the hits is in a folder named pictures. Okay, so how do we find out? Uh, well, we can um, simply um, make sure that the file path column is visible. And this is the uh, rn.jpg in the pictures subfolder. And uh, part of this exercise is to uh, indicate that whenever you're looking for um, individual files, you can, uh, so these are identified through hash hash set hits but uh, you can go to the original location such as this path 
by simply right clicking and say view file in directory so this will tell take you to the file directory on the structure that we have and you can see that there is still a highlight of the hash set uh, alert uh, right here and uh, so this indicates that this is a notable file but what's important is that you can see side by side other images in the same location of the hard drive which is probably very interesting information and i would encourage that you click on individual files right here and see what it displays in the preview area so the question is how many total jpeg files are in the folder a name pictures where the notable hash hit was found so how many jpeg files okay so one uh, possibility to identify this um, information uh, would be to uh, scroll horizontally um, to um, find the extension okay so um, the column names uh, are sortable so if you click on the column name it starts sorting files in the uh, by by extension so right here you can see that uh, we have some files uh, uh, and uh, if we uh, click on the first line right here and press shift down and start selecting and go all the way down so that uh, uh, everything is selected you just need to be able to count uh, how many items uh, are present here so it's possible to just uh, essentially click and uh, count one two three four five and so forth and go over uh, these files and uh, uh, find uh, uh, find out how many of them are present here uh, also possible to notice that uh, this location contains 16 total uh, results and two of them are without extension so therefore uh, uh, very likely the number is 14 right there but I'll let you do the counting and uh, specify the exact number of JPEG files so um, and um, uh, part of the conclusion uh, the final step here is to be able to find this file image 2019 1024 okay so we'll scroll back to the names of the files okay and uh, now uh, since we begin to look for a specific file name uh, we probably need to be able to sort it by name again so uh, 2019-1024 uh, okay so it's got to be this file right here right so 2019-1024 jpeg uh, which shows health violations by bringing the dog into a restaurant okay so this is the dog in the restaurant okay so here um, we want to be able to use the tag so we right click and say add file tag and choose notable item so this is the file right click add file tag and these are all sorts of choices that we have but we would like to uh, mark it notable item so once we make this mark a notable item you see that once the database uh, is updated the file is actually marked uh, also with an exclamation uh, point icon and so now we have two alerts uh, in our uh, in our notable uh, type of files uh, in this case so I suppose that if we uh, switch back to the view of our uh, results and uh, under tags we have one notable item so this is how easy it is to jump uh, back to notable items because we already tagged them so they will appear in the separate section of the tree so by this time the processing of ingest modules that i've selected uh, in my case has already finished so i should be ready for the next laboratory exercise using this 
a rent case.